Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unfog with Dr. Atahar Parlin. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon for more content based on HSTR examination. If you hit the bell icon, then you will stay updated. Whenever I upload a video, you will get the notification. Okay, and you can watch the video. So, please don't forget to hit the bell icon after subscribing to this channel. Okay. Now, here I am again to give uh, the second new year resolution for you all in order to get succeeded in HSTR 2023. So, the second resolution is that uh, you have to solve multiple choice questions because this is a multiple choice question paper, right? Now, before starting to give the tips on this, uh, I want to tell you all that uh, these tips uh, will not only be useful for HSTR aspirants but also they will be useful for KVS aspirants also. Okay, KVS, uh, TGT, PRT, PGT, all KVS aspirants also. Okay, so here I am to give you the second new year resolution which is uh, solving multiple choice questions or MCQs while preparing for the exam. While you are preparing for the exam, you have to solve multiple choice questions because uh, these exams are multiple choice uh, questions based question paper, right? So, when we prepare for the exam, we need to keep this point in our mind that whatever we are reading can be asked in the exam in the form of a multiple choice question. So, first and foremost, what we have to do for that is divide the chapter in parts for uh, all subjects i'm telling physics maths chemistry biology whatever subject you are reading uh, you should divide the chapter in parts let us take an example of a chemistry chapter structure of an atom now this chapter you can divide it in uh, three to four or maybe five parts depending upon your grasping power or time you get to prepare grasping power means a few people they need time to prepare one particular topic few people they may prepare it quickly so you know your stamina you are the one who knows perfectly about your grasping power and stamina how much you can remember or maybe you are a very busy you are a working you are a teacher or maybe you are a mother so in that case maybe you are getting less time so in that situation you know how much you can prepare when you sit for at a time correct so based on all that you can divide the chapter okay so you can divide into three two four or maybe five parts also no problem but uh, that is not the matter here the matter is after you prepare for first part uh, look for multiple choice questions based on that particular part okay see if you are a paid course aspirant uh, no need to do this because uh, you all know my style of teaching, right? You will not find any class from HSTR or Karnataka TET without list of multiple choice questions based on that part of chapter. Okay, whatever chapter I have discussed in that class, you will find multiple choice questions in that class. So all my classes compulsorily must and should have multiple choice questions always. Okay, so if you are an aspirant who wants to do self preparation by watching the available free classes in my YouTube channel, then you don't worry about those free classes which are present in my YouTube channel. Okay, you can watch those classes and I will have discussed multiple choice questions in those classes, right? So you don't need to prepare for multiple choice questions separately for those chapters. But for other chapters, what you do know, I mean for chapters which are not available uh, as free classes, for those chapters, for example, uh, if it is physics uh, and the chapter if it is belonging to PUC syllabus, then if you are preparing from uh, NCRT or uh, Karnataka government book, then it is uh, tough to get uh, many multiple choice questions. So you will have to take some guide or maybe some question bank. Uh, which will help you in multiple choice questions. But then there is a problem here because uh, PUC multiple choice questions are uh, usually based on competitive exams, right? Competitive exams like uh, KSET, uh, JE and NEET, right? So those questions are uh, next level questions for uh, HSTR aspirants uh, and uh, KVS, TGT aspirants. Maybe KVS, PGT aspirants, maybe they will require very few of them, very few. 
okay in that also they will have to search the easy to medium level questions only okay so basically uh, hstr people uh, they need to watch out uh, the difficulty level okay hstr aspirants they need to uh, look for easy to medium questions because uh, see if you start preparing for uh, difficult questions uh, then uh, you may lag behind or maybe it is waste of time right now because uh, you have to prepare for hstr okay uh, you are not here to prepare for uh, case at je or need your exam is hstr so if you read and prepare according to the difficulty level of questions asked in that exam then only you will get succeed right so you should learn to choose the right question for your examination okay so after dividing the chapter in parts you need to come up with your multiple choice questions before ending that part okay before you get up you should touch multiple choice questions then only you should get up correct so those multiple choice questions they can be from a question banks or maybe you can frame your own multiple choice questions also okay next if you are not finding anywhere like you are not able to make your own questions or if you are not finding good multiple choice questions from the book then uh, you can look for some common type of multiple choice questions with the answers okay you can google them if you google also you will find but then the problem is that only you should choose the right question okay next uh, if you are coming across one tough question but then still you feel that this may be asked in the examination for that type of questions uh, you should practice uh, eliminating answers in two rounds like uh, for example if there is a question and there are four options are there you don't know the right answer for that question but you know what is the wrong answer like that uh, you can cut out the wrong answers going on cutting the wrong answers will ultimately lead you to correct answer again okay so that is one thing another thing is if you have questions like uh, which are involving none of the above or all of the above 95% times the answer will be none of the above or all of the above so if you have little idea about that question then you can go for that answer okay so you should practice doing all this now only while preparing then only you will you will be able to do it while writing the exam okay all of a sudden if i tell you to follow all these uh, in the examination you will not be able to do that because uh, you are not uh, used to it right so if you practice doing all this now while preparing then only you can do it in the examination okay then uh, you should learn shortcuts this is a very important uh, technique actually learning shortcuts like uh, for example uh, in my one of the uh, latest trigonometry class uh, i showed you soka tova right to remember uh, sin theta cos theta and uh, tan theta so cut over okay like that you can make your own shortcuts any like mnemonics you can make or any shortcut in your own language also you can make okay or you can google and find out some shortcuts uh, and in those chapters which i have taken classes no either paid classes or uh, free classes i have tried to give as many shortcuts okay for mathematics though i will give only many shortcuts i give i keep on giving okay now if you are not a paid aspirant if you have not enrolled into my course then you have to search it by yourself okay maybe some textbooks will have some uh, guides also will have shortcuts or you can also google and try to find out uh, some shortcuts but these shortcuts will uh, really help you okay you can also make your own shortcuts okay next is uh, you should practice from now only how to read the question carefully okay it's just blah 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 you are reading uh, continuously and going and then uh, your answer will be wrong that should not happen how you will do it uh, first uh, read each question properly several times until you don't understand the question don't go ahead because now you have much time right you are not writing exam right now you are preparing for the exam right now so once you learn how to read the question carefully within no time you will read it in the examination and you will give the correct answer okay so you have to practice reading each question properly several times and then you should try to underline or encircle the keyword in the question 
that will lead you to the correct answer because that will give you the right direction of solving that multiple choice question and then most importantly you should preview and rephrase the question in your own language to practice to read question carefully means uh, not only reading the question carefully it means that you should understand the question properly to understand the question properly you can rephrase it in your own language you can convert it in kannada you can convert it in urdu whatever your mother language is you convert it in your language and try to understand the question okay and another last but not least most important point while solving the multiple choice questions while preparing for multiple choice questions is you should be grammatically correct now don't tell that madam i am kannada medium i don't know english properly madam i am urdu medium i don't know english properly what i mean to say grammatically correct means i am not telling you that your english should be correct your english should be good what i mean to say is while reading the question you should understand the question grammatically correct manner sometimes in question there is does sometimes there is does not usually i only make this mistake there is does not is written there in the question does not depend upon okay something is there in the starting question and it ends with the does not depend upon i am skipping that not while reading i will read does depend on and i will give the answer which is correct for does depend on but the question is not does depend on the question is does not depend on okay like that only this is true for this will be there the ending phrase will be there in that question this is true for or uh, this is not true for if you are giving answer for true for but there is a not true for in the question then your answer is wrong right so this is the meaning what i told you is that you should be grammatically correct okay so these are the tips for you all to follow to solve multiple choice questions i really hope that uh, this second new year resolution of solving multiple choice questions while preparing for the examination will be followed by all of you okay thank you bye